It's demo time, which means it's my favorite time. I'm Adam with Fraser, and this is the original Texas edition. So this is a 2021 Ram 5500 diesel, has rear axle liquid spring, has the MEPS generator for the power system, but it also has the addition of their lithium ion battery system, which is the PMILS system. Uh, it's the eco version that everybody's wanting to go to. Um, it's a type one 14 foot door forward Fraser module with a lot of features. So starting at the front up here, we had to do the full replacement bumper. Uh, we get a lot of feedback that this bumper is worth the investment. Uh, I want to say this is around $1,500, which a headlight assembly on these trucks is typically around a thousand bucks. So you know, this is a great investment to add on, add on to any truck, especially if you're in an area where um, you have a lot of animal strikes. It, it really pays off. Tucked behind the bumper, uh, highly requested dual air horns, so noisemakers, uh, Wheelins lighting system. Uh, we upgraded all of the lights on the module to be the M9 series, so they're the bigger light heads. We've also put Pioneer lights on three sides. So we have the wheel and Pioneer surface mount on the front wall and on each rear, on each side wall. Uh, so we got a lot of scene lighting on this truck. Inside the cab, these seats here, uh, they look like they're factory leather, but they're actually an aftermarket vinyl. We use a, a thick, heavy duty, vinyl we use a, a local company here to recover these but they follow the same stitch patterns of oem so they look they look really really well done working our way onto the body so we have our zyco electric bottle lift so you can easily load or unload your main bottle push of a button it's that simple you have all your cast compliance here electrical system so standard electrical system uh, from Fraser uh, we've got a block heater so if this truck goes to a cold weather climate you know sometimes they want to plug the the truck in with the block heater well you plug into shore power flip that switch on and the block heater is on the chassis anytime you're plugged into shore power another unique feature on this unit we have a handful of customers that would rather the control head for the siren be mounted in the electrical compartment so what that does is we'll then put a switch, just a simple on off switch on the console uh, to turn your siren on and off. And then you can actually change the tones of your siren through the OEM horn. So really this kind of takes all these buttons out of play, gives the medics a simple on off button to turn the siren on and off, but they can still change tones through the horn. Again, adjustable shelving this rear compartment with a 15 inch height uh, pass through window with Austin Hardware sliding doors. Again, reflective on the rear. So on the rear of the unit, uh, again, we've, we've carried the larger M9 series lights all the way to the rear. So your load lights are also M9 as are your upper brake tail turns. Um, something unique to Fraser is we do two level of brake tail turn on every truck standard. So you have your upper lights and we also have lower lights just above the bumper. So. It's easy to see if you have a mid-height car in front of you, you can still see what, what the vehicle is doing from two to three cars back uh, with these upper level lights. So uh, we get a lot of positive feedback on that. So as mentioned before, this unit has the MEPS system on it as we've covered in many of our videos. This vehicle is unique that it has an add-on feature from MEPS, which is their PMILS system, which is essentially a lithium ion battery with the battery management system and an inverter, which is all packaged neatly into this compartment here. So two things that this really provides. One, if you're a department that is um, being encouraged to go green or become more eco-conscious, this system will allow you to reduce your idle time and your engine hours. So right now we are completely powering everything on the ambulance body lights, all your 12 volt and your 120 volt circuits and your heater air conditioner off of these lithium ion batteries. So truck is completely off. We're not running the truck at all. We're running completely off these batteries. Uh, we've done some testing. So with a full load, like we see right now, all your emergency lights, your air conditioner on, 
um, you know, a lot of circuits on. We've been able to run this system for about three hours, a little over three hours actually, um, before we had to restart the truck to, to recharge these batteries. I tested this vehicle yesterday. It was 80, 83 degrees here in Houston, and I didn't have all the lights on. I had air conditioner on, and I ran this for over four and a half hours. So the second feature that this brings is redundancy and power. So what could be considered a possible downside to MEPS is it's, it's requiring the truck engine to be running typically. And then when you shut that off, you lose power to your module. So when you're at, at the hospital is most common or, or when you're you know, training or um, going into a restaurant, you'll typically have to leave your truck running if you want your patient compartment to stay powered and climate controlled. With this system, you could shut your truck off and you have redundant power to the ambulance body for multiple hours, again, depending on the full electrical load on the vehicle. MEPS has done a really good job packaging everything. So there's two lithium ion batteries, there's an inverter, there's their battery, battery management um, uh, system, and a really cool, easy to read uh, control panel here. Um, so you can see right now, we've been running off battery for a while, we're at 87%. Uh, so, it's a really neat feature. Uh, it's lithium ion. It's not inexpensive, but the reduction in idle time, uh, which should lead to reduce, reduced maintenance on the truck, should um, mean that eventually over the life of the vehicle, this should end up saving you money. It's relatively new technology. It's being asked about all the time, which is why we wanted to show it on, on a demo. Here is your inside outside ALS, BLS cabinet. So this is an outside only storage space down here that is actually sealed off from the inside portion of the module. Uh, this shelf here is adjustable up and down. And then again, you've got your sliding doors from the inside so if you can pass through equipment if you need to. And then this is your entry door into the patient compartment. Uh, we have an optional trash can on the door and also there's an LED light there in the step well that comes on and off uh, anytime you open up this side door.